Well, we've been talking about this being Giving Tuesday, but the Harrison Center for the Arts here in Indianapolis is launching an ongoing theme, and this is based around forgiving. They say after the year we have all had, forgiving is a gift that can release more positive energy into our world. Sounds good. Our Sarah Jones spoke with the artists behind Forgiving Tuesday. It's a gift. We're all capable of giving. And it doesn't come from our hands. It comes from our hearts. Especially right now, if we're all going to be able to live on this planet together, we need to start forgiving each other. On what many refer to as Giving Tuesday, the Harrison Center for the Arts is launching its first ever Forgiving Tuesday with the help of two artists. One artist has created a painting as part of her ongoing series, The Forgiving Sea Project. And I wanted to create an ocean theme where people could come to the studio and write a name on the painting of someone they wish to forgive or an event that happened to them where it was heavy on their heart and they wanted to let that go and release it. She can feel that some of the names have been written with pain and sorrow and can sense when the names need to be covered with another layer of ocean. The energy on the painting changes and when it feels like it's gotten very heavy, then it's definitely time. And feels the lightness once they've been washed away. Just to get that energy out into the world, I think it's, it's po so powerful. Mental health experts say there's a power in forgiveness. It's intentional, but it's something that you have control over. If I forgive someone, I can still have her feelings. It doesn't mean you forgot. Artist Lori Lee Andrews created three prints for Forgiving Tuesday, and anyone can contact the Harrison Center to get a free print. One is about asking for forgiveness, one about granting forgiveness, and one about forgiving oneself. I could see them being used really effectively if they were given away, but I also feel like maybe it's hanging where you get ready in the morning and it inspires you to be of a forgiving nature. You know. Mental health experts say journaling or intentionally thinking about forgiving someone are other effective tools to work working through forgiveness. It's a real simple way to make the world a better place. 